So Stuart Childs here at the Dairy Conference, I'm joined here by Donna Berry. Donna is just after giving a very interesting paper on the past history of EBI, which is around 25 years. Hard to believe, Donna. How far have we come in that space of time? I suppose what have been the major changes in, in its lifetime? So cumulatively, Stuart, what we've got, we've got five and a half billion increase in profit potential to the entire dairy sector. If we just focus on milk solids, for example, so milk solids have increased by around 50 kgs over that time period. Milk percentages, fat and protein have increased by around half a percentage unit. Okay. Um, the nice thing about breeding, of course, is, is that that's essentially free because it's as easy to put a good bull into a cow as it is to put a bad bull into a cow. And we got those gains are cumulative and they're going to stay with us for the next few decades. Very good. So um, that it's not all done. Uh, the title of your paper is obviously a lot done, more to do. Um, so what's the future hold for EBI? I think the, the most critical thing is the breeding scheme. Where's the next generation coming from? And the next generation is predicated on having good cows being mated to, to generate the bulls. And unfortunately with sex semen, of course, and I can completely understand this, farmers are using their best cows mating to sex semen. So where is that next generation of bulls going to come from? And this is a collective problem as an industry. Um, so farmers, we need to own the breeding program. And what are we going to do to deliver the next generation of bulls? OK, so if people are interested to hear more of what Donna said today, uh, you can visit the Chagas website, www.chagas.ie.